my name is Lacey of Spookless and Fat Hips, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Another collab, and this time it's with my bestie, it's with Georgia Harris here on YouTube. I fucking love Georgia, and I think you all know that I love Georgia, and I've collabed with Georgia a million times. I like get sappy and emotional every time I do, but I'm gonna do that one more time. Side note, not related to anything, but I'm wearing this JD Glow highlighter, Cold as Ice today and I think it might be my new favorite highlighter and that's a big statement to say so I wanted to provide it in a video that was this important so just know that that's how I feel about this highlighter oh my god what can I say about Georgia I absolutely love her so much I do the half cousins podcast with her I talk to her every single day we spend so much time together per week she's coming to visit me in February I'm counting the days and just in terms of Georgia as a YouTube creator She's taken a huge step back in this last year to kind of deal with her mental health and stuff. And I couldn't be more proud of her and I couldn't be more proud of all of the work that she's done on herself as a person. And I really feel like if you watch her most recent videos, it shows. Like you can see in her videos how happy she is, how full of life she is, how much just better she seems as someone is like me who knows her. She just seems so much more herself and just like, I'm living for it. I'm living for every single new video she puts on her channel. I'm so excited to see what she does. Georgia, I adore you. Like, there's no, there's nothing else I can say besides that. And Georgia brought to me this idea for what we're doing today. This, like, what would our two halves of a better together palette look like? And I was like, this is genius. I love it. Let's do it. Because even though we're so close as people, I feel like we have very little in common in terms of like aesthetic choices. I think Georgia's just now kind of appreciating neutral makeup and like feeling her oats with that, so to speak. And I look like a cartoon character all the time. We know this. To get back to the original idea of this video, shall we take a walk down makeup memory lane? Who remembers this shit? <laughs> this is the Kat Von D Too Faced Better Together Collection. What the actual fuck was this? <laughs> Too Faced and Kat Von D, two relatively problematic brands nowadays, but um, came together to talk about how much they love each other and how they're not competitors, that they're friends, and they each designed half of a palette, but the whole thing was sold together. I think it would have been more interesting if Kat Von D's was sold on Too Faced's website and then the other way around, but then nobody would buy the Too Faced side because I clearly am holding it in my hands. I own this palette. I go through this, like, I know you're all gonna yell at me for what I'm about to say. Every time I declutter and I go through a declutter process, I hold this collection in my hands and I think to myself how much I only truly want to keep the Kat Von D side because even though she's problematic and I don't use her makeup on camera anymore and I don't buy her makeup anymore, I just use what I have quietly alone. This is her half and it's really beautiful. You have this really gorgeous metallic red, this fun slate gray, very appropriate for Kat Von D. The Too Faced side looks like every Too Faced palette ever made ever. You can barely put these colors together. You can't put them with the Kat Von D ones really. This side is stupid. So I'm always thinking to myself, just keep the side that you like. But then the other half of my brain's like, but they have to be together because they're better together. It's so stupid. So that's just like, if you wanna know how crazy of a person I am, and like no one needs to get in my comments and like encourage me to let it go. I'm fine, I'm not like, I'm not harming myself by keeping the stupid Too Faced half. Like, my life would go on regardless. I've already spent the money, it is what it is. So Georgia and I, reflecting on this collection, reflecting on how ridiculous it was, thought about what we would bring to a similar kind of collection, our Better Together collection. I'm making my side, obviously. Georgia will be making her side on her channel. I have a feeling like if this were to exist, it would be in like peach skull packaging, very similar to our logo for the podcast. And I am wearing the makeup that I would bring to my collection as we speak. So without further ado, this is what I have created for my perfect half of our Better Together collection. I really wanted to throw practicality to the wind. I wanted to throw wearability to the wind. I just wanted something that screamed Oh yeah, Lacey fucking designed to this side of the palette. I really wanted to do something that's like 
me, I wanted this to be like a spooky little fat hips palette. So I opted to go with a grayish green color story. Very like when I see these colors together, I think of like the cyber goth subculture because when I was a teenager I thought there was nothing cooler than the cyber goth aesthetic and so to me this is very much like me in my room on vampire freaks listening to like the crew shadows like wishing that I had cyber locks and trip pants like with platform boots at a rave this is what I think of so I also think I also think in my head I know the colors Georgia might pick and I feel like in a weird way this could complement those colors I don't know but I'm going to walk you through what I picked. This was made up of some single eyeshadows in my collection, some things that I ripped out of a ColourPop palette because I don't have the biggest single eyeshadow collection, but I wanted just these colors to come across. So I'm going to walk you through each color, swatch them so you can see the whole color story. And I'm really interested to see, like I said, if this does in my head complement what I think George is doing. I don't know. We'll have to see. So the first color on deck is this one right here. This is a Lethal Cosmetics shadow. This is the shade Void, and I really wanted what in my head I'm thinking of as a green transition shade. So I wanted a softer kind of mossier green that you could use to blend out deeper greens in this collection, or just that could be beautiful on its own. And I didn't want something too pastel. Swatched out, it looks something like this, and I think this is really beautiful. And even though this isn't like a product review, but Lethal Shadows are fantastic and you all need to know that. Next up is a Colored Rain single. It's actually no longer a single. Now they only sell their pigments in a pre-made palette, but this is the Colored Rain Shadow Level Up and it is a true, like true green. Like if I were to buy a crayon set that just had the basic colors, I feel like the green would look like this. This is exactly what I wanted. It's not blue or anything like that. I am going to have to build it up in a swatch though because the colored rain shadows swatch like shit. But that is what it looks like next to that lethal mossy green next to my transition green. And you can see how you would be able to create depth just with those two shades. So if you wanted to do an all green look, you could. And then next to that is actually another colored rain single from that same pigment collection. I believe this shade is called Squad. I'm not going to be ripping them out of the palette because with my nails I would ruin all of my shadows trying. This is a tricky color because this is one of those shades that's really difficult to work with because it's kind of patchy when you work with it on the eyes. So like this is one where I kind of don't know if I would maybe want to go so blue toned. I maybe might want to be more on the foresty side. I don't know. It kind of on camera though comes across the way I wanted to. I wanted like a deep forest green. So I had three shades, three matte shades. It's kind of like my sweet spot when it comes to how many mattes I want to put in the crease. Like I want to blow out a transition shade, kind of add some definition with a middle shade, then really deepen out the edges with a deep shade. So this gets that across for me and it's in an all green color story, which I wanted. Next to that, all the way on the end is a color pop single. This is the big three and it looks like a metallic white in the pan, but it's actually like a metallic white duochrome green flip, which I thought would be perfect for the inner corner or as like a transformative shade. I feel like on camera, it's just going to come across as a white shade. I'm going to put it on top of those other colors, but I think that this could really flatter an all green look or the grays when I bring it in when I bring in the grays in a second. And then of course I needed like an absolute slime green. This is another Lethal Cosmetics shadow in Vertex. I mean, green color stories, cyber goth color stories, this is absolutely perfect. Again, you can make an all green look very easily with the shadows that I just produced, or you could use this to add a pop of green to a gray look. I really love this color story. <laughs> I didn't want any of my greens to have too yellow of an undertone either. When I was going through a lot of my singles, a lot of my greens either leaned blue or leaned yellow, and I wanted greens that were just green. And then, so that's really the end of the greens. Now we're getting into the grays. I will say these four gray shadows are all ColourPop from the Smoke Show palette, and really, like, I don't have that many gray singles, so I just popped them out of the palette. I wanted kind of a mid-tone slate gray and this was perfect 
This is where like the spooky kind of gothy part of my personality kind of comes into play and it's less leprechaun-y so to speak. And then I wanted to include a black and a white which at first like normally if you were like Lacey you're designing a palette tomorrow it's going to go to the masses. A black and a white would be like the last things I would want to put in a palette because I feel like everybody has a black or a white. But specifically because this is just a little 10 pan palette, I wanted the black and white because it makes it so you can have a variant of grays. You can either add more white to get a lighter gray or add black to get a deeper gray. You can use them with the greens, obviously. I like to use white to blend out my edges so they aren't as harsh or to erase mistakes. So I just thought it kind of made sense in this color story and it's kind of a necessity to have with a grayish color story. The white is obviously, this. these swatches are coming out very silly. The white obviously is not really going to come across on camera, but you know it's there. I wanted an absolute show-stopping silver metallic. Silver metallics look so incredible on the eyes. They look so, like, editorial avant-garde weird because it's such a flashy color and we don't get it very often we tend to get like coppers and golds and this is like the perfect neutrally silver that again doesn't have any blue in it doesn't really have black in it oh god my swatches are getting crooked i'm so sorry i feel like the color story is really coming across though like i just wanted like a spooky slimy green gothy color story. I didn't want to do like too Halloween-y. I didn't want to do all green. I wanted something kind of with an edge to it and I feel like I have that with this color story. And then finally, I wanted texture. I wanted something that was going to transform all of the rest of these because I am all about textured metallic shadows. I didn't want to do a pressed glitter because everybody fucking hates pressed glitter and if I added a pressed glitter to my actual palette, like if I were actually releasing this to the market, people would hate me if I put a pressed glitter. So I opted instead for JD Glow Unexpected. This is one of their galaxy shadows. When I swatch this, this has a brown undertone to it, but that brown undertone doesn't really translate once you pack it on the eyes. For me, I feel like. I have it all over my, like, all over my whole eye today. I have it all over this gray metallic on my lid and then all over the greens in my crease. Kind of very Hannah Louise post and I just wanted a lot of glitter in this look. And every time I wear this shadow specifically, this is my absolute favorite Jade Glow Galaxy shadow, I should say. But every time I wear this shade, it very much adapts the colors that I pair with it. I've used this in blue looks, I've used this in red looks, I've used this in green looks. It has greeny blue glitters in it, and that's what I wanted. I'm gonna, I think, swatch it down here with all of the rest of these shades, kind of like together. It very much in a swatch comes off like a blue-brown. I don't want a blue-brown in this palette. I want a multi-dimensional green, goldy green, bluish, silvery glitter to kind of pair with the rest of these and make all of these shades able to be transformed and able to be multi-use, so to speak. One more shot of all the colors together and I'll show you my eye look. I haven't worn it for a couple hours actually, so I might be creasy. I might have glitter all over the lid. But this is what I came up with. Like I said, I have those colored rain greens in the crease. I have that silver metallic on the lid. I have the JD Glow Unexpected Shadow all over everything. I have gray on the lower lash line and then my white mascara. Oh, and then I have the white green duochrome as my inner corner highlight. And I really love this look and I actually really love this color story. I'm not, like I said, one for single shadows. I don't make my own palettes very often. But I almost am tempted to keep these shadows together. I'm not going to because they belong in their respective palettes. But this was a lot of fun to do an exercise like this, so to speak, where I'm designing a little color story for just a specific use like this. And I pull from multiple palettes all the time, so it's not like I will never mix these shades together again. But seeing them all together like this actually makes me really happy. I also want to say, I believe in the Better Together collection, they also came with like a tattoo liner and a Better Than Sex mascara, and there might have been lip colors too, I don't remember. If we're adding other things to be in our bundle, I'm of course going to add a white mascara, and I thought about like if I were going to add like a liner or a lip color, it's pretty much a toss up between a black liquid liner to go with the white mascara or a black lipstick. I feel like all of those things paired with this little cute color story, you get a perfect spooky lips and fat hips completed look. 
you're good to go. And with that, that was my side of Georgia and I's Better Together collection. I am so excited to see what Georgia picked. I am so excited to see her reasoning behind her colors. Like I said, in my head I know what I think it looks like, but I could be surprised. I don't know. Check out Georgia's video. Obviously, you've watched this video. What do you think of my picks and what do you think of the collection altogether? This is really cute. We've talked about what our perfect collab palette would be like on the podcast before. Maybe one day Georgia and I will get an opportunity to make a palette together. I don't know. In the meantime, let me know what you think about the shades that we picked. Obviously, go check out Georgia's channel, The Half Cousins Podcast. All relevant information will be linked down below. Georgia, I love you so much. Thank you for always being there for me and always being my friend. I can't wait to see you soon. If you like this video, if you like collab videos, and if you like me, please hit like and subscribe. You can also follow me on my Instagram, which is also Spookless and Fat Hips, or my Twitter, at Spooky Lacey, The Half Cousins Podcast. All of that information will be linked down below. Our pizza is here, so I'm going to stop filming. So other than that, that is all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys! <laughs>